Hi, I'm Robbie. Welcome to the True Solar Library. Today, we're going to talk about subcontractors. So you might be asking yourself, what's a subcontractor? Which is fine. Generally speaking, it's going to be an entity that a company uses to complete work, but who is not part of said company. I say entity because a subcontractor could be a single individual or it could be another company. Now, I've been in the construction industry for a number of years myself at a number of different types of companies. I have worked in the field, I have managed in the field, I have sat for and passed licensing tests. I have encountered subcontractors often and for a variety of different reasons. I have worked at companies that use subcontractors. I have worked at companies who themselves are a subcontractor. So the thing to know is that what I'll be talking about in this context is residential and light commercial solar specifically. What I mean to point out is that a company who comes to give you a proposal and sell a solar system to you may not be the same company who is actually performing the work of installing the system. The company who sells the system to you may have an agreement or a subcontract with another company who performs the installation. Now, there are most likely a combination of reasons that a company chooses to be operating this way. The company may be headquartered out of state and not in a position to manage installations on a local level. Maybe they don't have the operating funds to employ their own installation staff. They may not hold or qualify for the proper license required to be an installer or an electrician and then have to rely on a subcontractor who does have those licenses. Which is to say that some companies may be installing the panels, but are relying on a subcontractor to perform the electrical work. So there's a number of combinations in which this can happen and why and how. Another item to point out is training. There are different approaches to solar installation. So a company who employs their own workforce is also in the driver's seat when it comes to training those individuals. A subcontractor may have opposing opinions about installation compared to the company that actually sold the system. At any rate, the fact of the matter is that the subcontractor is a separate entity, not part of the company who sold the project. The subcontractor is then free to prioritize and schedule projects as they see fit. They may also be selling and installing their own projects. Or maybe they provide subcontracted work for multiple companies at the same time. The nature of the business relationship with the subcontractor means that the company selling the project has potentially much less control over the timeline and scheduling and to some extent even the quality of the work, as opposed to a contractor who has the entire operation under the umbrella of a single company. So at True Solar, we are a turnkey operation, which means our projects are completed by in-house teams of installers and electricians who we employ. As always, we appreciate you taking some time to stop by the True Solar Library and expand your knowledge. We'll see you next time.